What's up guys, welcome back. The NBA Finals are right around the corner and that means you need a delicious appetizer for the big game. I have just a thing for you. We're gonna show you how to make this delicious buffalo salmon dip. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. Let's go over these ingredients. So for today's recipe, we're using what we have in the fridge. I got some cheddar. We have some mozzarella cheese. We have some blue cheese. If you don't like blue cheese, you should grow up or just use feta, use whatever you like. We also have some Frank's Red Hot, one cup of that. We have one and a half cups of ranch dressing, some cream cheese. We have celery and onion, and of course, some garlic paste. The theme of this recipe today, use what you have on hand. So when I say ugly salmon, I'm not just joking, guys. This is the salmon. When I get it from the store, I typically carve out the fillets that look the best for presentation purposes. And this is the salmon that doesn't necessarily make the cut. So we vacuum seal it, put it in the freezer, and today it's gonna get cooked and put into this delicious buffalo salmon dip. In my opinion, the easiest way to remove the salmon skin is to cook it first, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We have it on this uh, aluminum foil lined baking sheet. We're gonna pop it in a 400 degree oven. I'm gonna hit it with some olive oil and some all purpose seasoning, or use a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Even application of oil, that's gonna help it brown up nicely and it helps the seasoning stick a bit. I'm not too concerned with, with seasoning the uh, skin side because we're not using the skin for this recipe. So we're just gonna season the top side of the salmon, my all-purpose seasoning, a nice healthy coat of that. And I'm gonna go down with some hot as well. The hot is optional, guys, so if you don't want any heat, you can leave it out. Also, guys, feel free to use whatever seasonings you have laying around the house. If you have a particular seasoning that you enjoy with seafood, definitely give that a try. Nice even coat, and it's going in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes or until the salmon reaches 145 degrees internal temperature. All right. All right, so now we're gonna get into our prep work. We're gonna dice up half of a yellow onion, two stalks of celery. Real simple stuff today. We're not using any crazy ingredients. I realize that groceries are super expensive right now. Trust me, I know I'm at the grocery store all the time. Uh, so I'm really focusing on using what we have at the house. So half of a diced onion, no right or wrong way to do this guys, just dice it up nice and small. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the celery. If you don't like celery, just leave it out. A nice rough chop on the onion, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the celery. So right here, all, the only thing that I'm really focused on is making sure that the celery is about the same size as the onion. Other than that, you can dice it up as big or as small as you want to. I just want to make sure they're the same size, that way they cook at about the same rate and get nice and tender for us. So there is our veggie prep, super simple, common ingredients that you have in your refrigerator. So now we're gonna go ahead and shred our cheese. I like to shred my own cheese rather than buying it from the store pre-shredded because when you get it from the store pre-shredded, it tends to have anti-caking agents like potato starch and things that prevent it from clumping together. If you shred it yourself, you avoid all of that and the cheese melts so much nicer, which is great for the dip that we're making today. So we're gonna use about a cup of cheddar, a cup of mozzarella, and a little bit of blue cheese, which is optional. If you don't like blue cheese, no big deal. You can just leave it out. But blue cheese goes well with buffalo dip. So that's what we're going with today. A little sharp cheddar, a little mozzarella. And now my friends, it's time for the fun part. We've got all our prep work done and out of the way. Now it's time to start cooking. Let me introduce to you my second favorite girl in the world. This is Bertha. If you take care of your cast iron skillet, she'll take care of you. She's been with me for about 10 years now. But if you don't have a cast iron skillet, no big deal. Any oven safe frying pan will work. What we want to be able to do is cook directly over the uh, fire here and then pop it in the oven to finish. So that's, that's what we're doing uh, with the dip. We want our skillet over medium high heat at this point. I'm going to add in one to two tablespoons of butter because butter makes everything taste better. So butter going in. We're also going to add about a teaspoon or two of avocado oil. That's important because the avocado oil has a really high smoke point, about 500 degrees. Butter has a low smoke point, but combined, the avocado oil raises the smoke point of the butter and prevents it from burning. So we're gonna add the butter and the oil, allow that to melt, and then we're going in with our celery and onion. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in our veggies. You don't want your heat to be too high. We just wanna saute them, allow them to start to get tender for us. 
about three or four minutes. Start to absorb all that butter. And you wanna season as you go. So we're gonna add a little salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder. Basically my all purpose seasoning that I use on everything. You can see behind me, I've already pulled the salmon out of the oven. I'm gonna let that cool for just a minute while we finish this up and then we're gonna shred it. I'll show you guys how to do that. But in the meantime, you wanna go ahead and season your celery and onion. And then we're gonna add two blocks of room temperature cream cheese. My friends, we've got two blocks of cream cheese in here that's already soft and you can see how much easier it is to mix together. Makes life easy for you, that's what it's all about. We're gonna mix that together and then we're going in with one cup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Really, you can use whatever hot sauce you enjoy. Buffalo chicken's traditionally made with Frank's, so that's what we're going with today. But you don't have to be traditional, use whatever you have in the pantry. We're gonna give that a good mix and then we're going in with one and a half cups of ranch dressing. There we go. What you wanna do is mix to combine to ensure everything is evenly distributed. You wanna see that cream cheese incorporating into the sauce here. And then we're gonna crumble in this blue cheese. Again, guys, I know some people don't like blue cheese, so if you don't like it, just leave it out or tell me about it in the comments. I'm all about that too. But we're gonna crumble us some blue cheese in there because why the hell not? Nice big chunks of blue cheese too. Get the people that don't like blue cheese real angry in the comments. Quick reminder guys that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. We're gonna mix in that blue cheese, go in with a little bit of mozzarella and cheddar, and then it's time to shred some salmon. All right, so now our salmon's fully cooked. We removed it from the skin. We're gonna go ahead and shred it in this bowl and then add it to our dip and then pop that in the oven to finish. The easiest way to do this is either by hand or with two forks. So that's what I'm gonna do here is just shred it with two forks into bite-sized pieces. Same thing you would do if you were making like salmon cakes. Same exact concept here. Just shred it and then it's gonna go into our cast iron skillet. All right, my friends, we're heading into the home stretch. Stay with me. We're gonna go ahead and add the shredded salmon into our cast iron skillet and give that a good mix. And then it's going into the oven and you have yourselves a fantastic game day appetizer. If you're a salmon lover, you gotta give this a try. You just wanna fold it in. Taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference as always. If you want it spicier, you can add some cayenne pepper or some red pepper flakes. If it's too spicy, add a little bit more ranch dressing. There we go. All right, one last bit of seasoning. We're going in with some ranch seasoning because why the hell not? Seems fitting. So we're gonna add a little bit of that. So we're gonna add a teaspoon or so of ranch dressing to the party. Stir that in. Give it one final taste test to make sure that it's just where you want it. And then we're gonna top it with cheese and pop it into the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes or so, or until the top is golden brown and beautiful. And yes, we're adding more cheese. Remember my friends, we're here for a good time, not a long time. Like I always say guys, use ingredients that you enjoy. If there's something that you don't like in the recipe, you could always leave it out, find a good substitution. Like if you don't like cheddar, you could you know, go with a Monterey Jack. Pepper Jack's a great choice for this. Use whatever you like. There we go. That, my friends, is ready for the oven. Fresh out of the oven, about 25 to 30 minutes or until it's golden brown and beautiful like so. Now we're gonna garnish this up with a little bit of diced chive for a pop of color. And so you guys will click on that thumbnail. There we go. That chive really Brings a little bit of life to it. The green makes it pop. All right, so you wanna allow this to cool for about 15 minutes before you dig into it. Otherwise, you'll probably burn the roof of your mouth. So take that as a PSA. We'll let this cool and then we're gonna dig into it. I'll be right back for the taste test. All right, people, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys, looking good. Oh man, look at that cheese pull. 
so we got the money shot out of the way the only thing left to do is get this taste test but before we do that please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well without further ado fat boy pro tip you want to go with two crackers to give more integrity so the cracker doesn't break do a little bit more dip there we go perfect bite on the way cheers my friends Mm.